Oh, the boy's getting drifted. <laughs> uh, so, good news, bad news situation. Uh, we have been driving down here to South Texas to pick up some deer. Since 4 a.m. Since 4 a.m. It's now 9.30 a.m. To pick up some deer meat from the processor. Well, turns out we had one of the worst ice storms in a few years. So, we have oh. turned back around. As you can see, there's... These guys aren't going to make it up the hill. This guy behind me is being a real hero. Semi-trucks kind of in a bad way here. So, long story short is we are turning around. Short story long, we're now auctioneers. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh, man. This guy's bummer. stuck between all of these trucks. He is in a bad way. A bit at four, a bit at four. Anyways, so we're going to try to get uh, a line in some water, maybe, about a fishing pole. And it's perfect fishing weather. It is drifty. Ice fishing weather. So yeah. let's see how it goes. We're gonna go fish for a bit. Found a <laughs> found the old off road trail here. Actually, kind of cool. Our cameraman's got performance khakis on, so, <coughs> so we're gonna test the performance. We're sort of. ready for anything. We just got out of the ice too, Look so at this. crispy pair for days. I'm kidding. Try not to hit it. Should I wait in the water? Do you get your waders? Should I put my waders on? Oh, this can be fun, I think. Is this haunted? You will not believe <laughs> how haunted this river is. Oh, gosh. Oops. Did you bring your performance khakis? <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. Oh, oh. You almost... That's what you call the false sin. Kind <laughs> about that life. Billy Goat. <laughs> I decided to stop at Elm Creek. It's actually a pretty nice little creek, uh, clear water. The only downside of having clear water is you can see that there's no fish. <laughs> <laughs> Get tight of me up. I'm gonna teach y'all something. Okay. I ever heard there's an old movie. The river runs the through river it. Runs thr don't. This river runs through it. <laughs> old cowboy actor named Brad Pitt. Okay. <laughs> me, wait, was it Brad Pitt? He taught me everything I needed to know about fishing. Then there's another one. With Kevin Bacon. He taught me the rest I needed to know. Well, Footloose? Like the one about dancing? You, you Footloose. <laughs> <laughs> no, not dancing. <laughs> Wasn't, didn't Kevin Bacon do a fishing movie? Tremors. <laughs> <laughs> I call this the old, the old jiggle jig. Ready? Jiggle jig. Three dollar dollar now, four dollar dollar now, five dollar dollar now, six dollar dollar now, seven dollar dollar now, we dollar dollar now, nine dollar dollar now, ten. Excellent job. Dollar now, we dollar now. Kind of turns into dodger, dodger. You bought it. Lock 537, bid 537 for lock number one. <laughs> you should be lock number one. That was good. You should. It's fishing weather. It's fishing weather. 
It is a little icy outside, not a lot icy. It is a lot icy. Shotgun it. There <laughs> go. <laughs> Tell me about your your strat. Oh, this whole thing. Stuff. <laughs> What's that code for? Did you get it? I got what I needed. I'm trying to drag the. Uh, well, don't drag the, the actual graphite rod at all. What are we doing? I'm just dropping it. So this is the Brazos. This is the Brazos River. And I've heard tell that there are some monsters in here. Oh, pray tell. <laughs> so what you do, you kind of let it go down, you just give the old, the old Brad Pitt flip. Brad Pitt flip. Uh, forgot to bring any bait. So luckily under this bridge, I found this Dum Dums wrapper. We're gonna life hack myself a fly rig here. Colorful and pink, just like all the things these fish usually eat. So it's gonna work so good. What you gonna wanna do is uh, I'm buoyant. Um, Waving. What you want to do? Just, just come out. Just toss her in. Okay. We're gonna run a little trot line here. <laughs> it's, it's not. It's not. What's this? You just give some jerks every now and then. Follow me. Follow me for more outdoors content. Look. I don't think you're supposed to yell. <laughs> oh, the ducks are flying in. Yep, yeah, you just dipped your elbow in. Uh, I don't think I did. Put it on the top. Technical difficulties. Which is which sucks because that was right on a monster. <laughs> Big mouth, small mouth, whatever it took, I was gonna catch it. We did it. Cut all the wrappers. Did the waiters pay off? The waiters are actually super nice. Hey, my eyes are up here, okay? <laughs> look, this might not look like much, but she had movement. I was giving her the old jerk and tug. <laughs> Don't put that on the video. <laughs> All right, ice is melted off. Uh, we are done being auctioneers. Still working on that. Uh, but we're here in Kerrville to pick up um, an Axis, doe, no, an Axis buck that Michael shot, um, a whitetail doe that I shot, uh, both on previous videos on YouTube. If you uh, haven't seen those videos, go back and watch them because the Axis buck was like purely like, well, I'm, I guess I say luck. I mean, it was, I think we were good hunters to get lucky with this. Super but, good hunters. But like, like a crazy opportunity and then it was an awesome tree stand shot on that whitetail. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Whitetail doe. But we're here to pick up uh, those um, and then we'll get her loaded up and back on the road. Yeah, Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so as you remember from our previous stop, I was using my Dum Dum Wrapper trash bait. It worked okay, but we just picked up some deer meat, and since I still don't have any bait, we're just gonna cut a sliver off. Just cut a sliver off of this, this axis stick, slap that on there. Lunch. Caught three. Um, Fly. But <laughs> <laughs> hey, there you go, Brandon. Son of a gun! Every time I pull the whole fucking bobbers out. Anyways, it's hard to it's hard to do much when Brandon is just yelling the whole time. You know. Wait, okay, look. Everyone watching this knows fish do not have ears. Name one time you ever saw what a fish that had... this aggressive head? situation? No. <laughs> <laughs> how, how am I not catching stuff with a huge hook and a little piece of axis meat on the end of it? You tell me. I think obvious Look, I, I, That's I, the Look, when you've been in the fishing game as long as I have, you just learn a few tips and tricks. When'd you get into it? Oh, with waiters like this, you tell me how long I've been in it. This is waterproof, right? <laughs> you tell me if I'm not catching fish now. I have real bait. It's not trash. It's not deer jerky. It's the real deal. Your boy's about to catch some fish. Lost it, so I'm hookless right now. This is this is called the old the old fish drive here. I'm working the way back here for Brandon. There are three. All right, guys, that's it. We had a good time. We were able to get uh, a couple deer picked up from the processor. Um, Axis deer, white-tailed deer. Got a ton of meat, um, which was awesome. Uh, and then we were able to get lots of good uh, little fishing stops along the way, which kind of broke up our day. It was like a 20 hour day, but what's 20 hours when you get this stuff at every river you pass and <laughs> toss a line in? Look, we're just out having fun. We're all about having fun, right? <laughs> Follow us for more outdoorsy content about <laughs> how to and how not to do some things. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, turn those notifications on, share with all your friends. <laughs> And we'll get you going next time. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Hurts. <laughs> okay.